What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I deal with stairs as an amputee. So let's just get right on into it. <laughs> And as an amputee, disability accessibility is a huge thing. Having access to elevators, escalators, ramps, and stairs um, are all super very <sighs> out of breath. I just climbed like five flights of stairs multiple times. While I am a very fit and active amputee, and my leg allows for me to climb stairs and go downstairs very easily, that wasn't always the case, and I know it's not the case for every amputee out there. And so with that, growing up, I obviously did not have fancy legs or anything like that and my legs were called mechanical knees and so basically it's just a bunch of gears put together and as great as the legs were for what I needed them to be whenever I would go downstairs one over the other like a regular person uh, mechanical knees just can't support you and they will always buckle and you will drop like a fly <laughs> so um, going downstairs I kind of had to learn my own way of doing things which you'll see in these clips so the way I have always gone downstairs before I got my sea leg was that I would hop on one foot and just take it all the way down. It can be super dangerous sometimes so I don't try this at home kids but you know it's just kind of what I learned to do is the fastest way to get down the stairs. I had some place to be so that's what I did and it you know worked for a really really long time. In 2015 I got my C-Leg 4 which is the leg I currently have. Because this is a microprocessor knee it has a computer in it that tells the leg everything it needs to know and it also tells the leg uh, when I'm going downstairs so it can adjust accordingly. So as you can see in these clips right now I'm going going down the stairs, you know, one over the other, just like any other normal person. And this was such a game changer, you guys. You don't even know. I mean, I love the way <laughs> that I go downstairs normally, uh, but being able to just do one over the other, it just makes me feel so like a regular person, you know? So it was super awesome. And I really love it. I still do the, you know, one hot down the stairs some of the time, but for safety reasons, now that I'm getting a little older, I'd, I'm not as like, you know, I don't know, crazy. <laughs> So with going upstairs though, um, it kinda, there's a few ways. My main two ways is going one up over the other. It does look a little different for me just because I can't really bend my knee in front of me like most people can. So I kinda have to like swing it out to the side as you are seeing right now. And then the other way is I'll use the, uh, what is it? I'll use the handrail and hoist myself up and do multiple steps at a time. This is really great if I have somewhere to be quickly or something like that. We rented our house out at the end of last year and we moved to an apartment to be closer to the Dallas Metroplex area. And this apartment that we're in doesn't have elevators or anything like that. And we live on the third floor, which really sucks sometimes. So being able to handle stairs and stuff like that is really, really great, especially for situations like this where you don't really see it coming or like, you know, you don't know where you're gonna move. Um, obviously if I really needed some kind of uh, more accessible place. We would have lived on the first floor. However, we um, I'm pretty comfortable with stairs and climbing and all that stuff. It is tiring sometimes, but it is what it is. And we just live with it. Don't mind this stain. I tried to get down and just knock them out. So yeah, that's how I go up and down stairs. I know this video was super short and to the point, but I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and give it a big thumbs up and tell me what you want to 
see next. I am a little like sweat pit right now. Um, so that's great. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this was informative and you learned and if there's anything else you wanna know about how I do as an amputee, let me know. Have a great week guys, <laughs> bye.